So we're here at a uh, random basketball court. We got the uh, flat bar. Today we're gonna be um, doing a board slide yank over. Uh, it's gonna be a little tutorial on that trick, but it's pretty early in the morning. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna warm up. I'm here with Haley Isaac. And uh, we also have the kicker here. Um, we might actually try to do a different video on that as well. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna warm up. I'm gonna film a little bit of the warm up just because why not? Kick first kick flip of the day. <laughs> wow, oh, that's Escalera! Oh, here you are. We got raining in a little bit. Oh! Oh, it's getting worse. <laughs> Dude, I've been sucking at knowledge. Lately is slang for her entire life. Okay, right here. That was decent. Oh. That's a good warm up. You're like, I can't do any of that yet. What? Come on, let's see it. What am I doing? Uh, okay. the straight four. You know, All the, the ollies? <laughs> no, the kickflips. All the nose grabs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all the, all the no complies. Oh. Also, a pretty rough start. Oh. I'm older than you. So, someone told me this. They said, you get your age in minutes to warm up. So, I have... Two hours to warm up. Uh-huh. That's right, 120 year old. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, right here, right here. I can see. First try. All warm up. That was bad. Well, that was worse. No pop? Popping's overrated. This is the only one I can usually do. Maybe one of those. Oh dang. Hard trick. Uh, so yeah, board slide yank overs. A little tutorial on that. A little understanding of what is required. Obviously you need to be able to board slide. Uh, and yanking over is going to be pretty much the entire part that's going to be hard to figure out. So it's a lot like an early grab. I see a lot of people when they try to learn this trick, they try to yank with all their body weight still on the rail. But you're not like board, side, board sliding it and just like yanking off the rail. You're hopping. You, you physically are jumping off the rail and you're just holding the board with you. So it's more of like a... Instead of like a... I don't know. It's just kind of slightly counterintuitive because it's narrow and you think you're going to pinch your fingers. But if you know me, I do this trick a lot and I've probably pinched my fingers 10 times out of like probably a thousand of these. So the like likelihood of you pinching your fingers is pretty slim. Uh, the easiest way to learn this trick is grabbing Indy, which is your backhand in front of you. Um, for me, it's like this. If you're goofy, it's like this. But uh, I tend to grab sailfish because everyone's already doing the indie ones. And I was like, well, I'll just make a slight variation. Does it make it cooler? Probably not, but at least I feel special and different. Uh, but I'll teach you the indie one first, and then I'll probably do a couple sailfishes because they're just easier for me now. It's a little bit, I don't know, it just makes more sense because I do them so often. I like can't do it. Okay, just think about what you're trying to teach the audience. No, shh. We don't want them to know that I can't do this. What? <laughs> it's No, it's, I think it's better filming a trick like this when you're kind of learning how to do it. I can't be this transparent. They need to think that I'm sick. Okay. <laughs> um, hold on, let me think. What are you doing wrong? I think I'm not jumping. Like, I think I'm just trying to do exactly what I said not to do. I'm like yanking and not jumping. Yeah. Be like, maybe this will help. Jump, jump, jump. 
take number one. Yeah, Ooh, we had it. Okay. Side note. Do a couple dump trucks because it's a very similar yank. Dump truck is when you like are in a nose blunt or a nose stall and you yank over to the other side. Same exact momentum. Uh, and also I'd say kind of stay on this side of the rail. Like you kind of want to lock it like this. And then even though it feels like you're going to have more to clear, you're going to slowly tilt it this way. And then when you're here, that's when you yank. Do you think that helps setting it down on the rail and jumping like that, like stationary? Yeah, it kind of helps you like figure out the timing of jumping and grabbing because like uh, you have the tendency to want to yank off the rail instead of jump jumping is just a very awkward concept it's like really counterintuitive definitely helps you gotta like give a little spring because if you go to yank off you'll do this over and over again you'll go Everything. Now you got it. That's everything. Yeah, let's say something. Like, what makes this trick hard to yank over is like, I don't know if you've ever heard the term pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps. Like, that's why you can't physically lift yourself up. You have to jump and hold it to your feet. And when you're on a rail, for whatever reason, it feels like you could just yank off to the side, but you can't lift up your own body weight without actually jumping. So you jump and then hold the board to your feet. It's more this than like, you're not doing this. Cause that's just against physics. So once you like fight that like idea of yanking yourself off, especially cause it's called a board side yank over, it's more of like a board side jump, hold the board to your feet and float over, then it becomes a lot easier. I have the timing super down with my stale fish grab. And for whatever reason, you'd think it'd be very similar to grabbing Indy, but I, I had to relearn how to do it. Like it took me a couple tries to like get the timing down. So I think it isn't a bad idea to learn the timing by what's great about these keen rails is they go to a low enough setting where you can set your board on it and be all the way to this side and then adjust your body weight on top, like slowly, and then figure out the timing. Definitely helps a lot. Um, so I'm gonna do one more like that, and then I'll start sliding them. Cause if you can do it stationary, you can definitely do it sliding. And I do recommend learning it stationary. Cause when you're sliding, there's just so many more factors where things could go wrong. But if you're stationary, it's like, I got my balance. I'm already way over here. So if I want to adjust, I can just slightly slide forward. But for the most part, I think you want to be around right here. You want to be like maybe a couple inches behind your front truck. And I've yet to catch my fingers. So one more of those and then I'll do it sliding. See, I think the best stepping stones for this trick is to be able to board slide and to be able to balance comfortably. Uh, so I would say be able to go really slow, get onto your board slide, keep it fairly balanced. You don't want to be too like wobbly because the one that you get over on, you want to be like really in control. So once you have like a decent board slide balance, next thing I would say is dump trucks, which is putting your nose down, putting your front foot on it, and this teaches you the way to yank over. Because if you can yank over with the dump truck, you're clearing much more of your board over the rail than you would from here. So if you can yank this, you can yank the board slide. The next thing I would say, kind of setting your board up if you have a rail low enough, to sort of stall it here. And then, just do it sliding. And uh, that's basically it. It's all about that awkward timing, uh, not being scared to pinch your fingers because you're probably not gonna pinch your fingers and uh, learning how to jump on the rail. I think one of the main reasons that it's scary to jump and you wanna yank is because you think 
when you put the pressure down to get the spring to jump, you're afraid that you know you're gonna shoot out or the board's gonna like go kind of crazy. But I think people really underestimate their uh, natural balance because when you do that, your body weight kind of naturally adjusts to like hold you in place. Fear kind of keeps your body weight usually where it needs to be. I think that's why the majority of time that people get hurt skating, it's doing something that they do all the time and not something new because when they're trying something new that they're scared of, all of their senses are like on watch. Like, I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to get hurt. So I think you're a little bit less likely to get hurt when you're trying to learn a new concept. So just kind of give it a good little spring like you're going to jump. Like maybe do a little board slide and kind of do a little early grab off the end to get the timing down a little bit. But uh, yeah, once you're comfortable with the board slides and the dump trucks, you can just start trying to yank over. Don't be surprised if the first however many tries you clip your back truck and don't quite clear it. I also try to think like when I yank over, I don't try to yank straight that way like a dump truck. I try to like yank a little diagonal like this and just try to like clear my back truck. And then you're on the ground and then you're, I don't know, you're stoked. And if uh, the Indy's not working, by all means, you can try to do the uh, stale fish like I usually do. Or maybe if you're more of a backside grabber, you can do backside board slide, grab melon and yank to the side you came from. Which I'll try one of those real quick. I have a feeling I'm not gonna do it, but. Let's do that a little better. Wow. It's really about finding which grab and which direction is most comfortable for you. Uh, Stalefish is mine. My buddy Caleb is indie. Um, I've seen people do grind variations where they do like a crooked grind, grab something and yank over. In fact, should try one of those. I haven't done one of those in a while. Let's do crook yank over. same exact concept being comfortable with jumping while you're on the rail and just holding the board to your feet oh uh, yeah and i feel like once you play with a couple of those you might be able to figure them all out they're all pretty similar so if you have a comfortable crooker grind a comfortable nose grind comfortable blunt slide nose slide you should be able to do the yank overs or yank backs and uh yeah personally i think the keem rails are really good because the lowest setting is good to like get one like comfortably and not have to like really put a lot of effort in because when you jump on a taller rail you're kind of squatted so like that's kind of where you want to be to grab but also all your momentum being kind of pushed into the rail from squatting on it makes it that much harder to like yank off of so yeah having like a good adjustable rail work up the sizes is always good and uh yeah i'd say for the most part just play with all those and yeah if you land some send them our way and we'll be stoked maybe we'll repost them on our instagram or something uh thanks for watching